Hey everybody, welcome back to the shop. Thought I'd hit you guys with 10 more minutes of bomber building action and excitement without the drama. Oh yeah, you gotta know it. Oh, I took some soap and some water and uh, got the mold release off of my uh, mold. Got them all quick. Up and they look good. I got this one here. It's got a little chip in that corner. And that edge, but that's no biggie. I'll put some Bondo on that. And uh, that's all I got to deal with. I'm a happy camper. I'm a happy camper. And see, when I got these apart, I got this already in there. Now, what I'll probably end up doing. It's putting a slice in my mold so this will drop down in it so I can put my structure in here and with this other rib before I glue my parts together and uh, that's really this now I could you know lay my part up and cut that round and slide that down in there and uh, put my rib in put my two halves together and uh, I can take this mold here and make my flanges. Remember my flange trick? Well, I'm going to do that again. That way, once I get my structure in there, I can get in there and put these, put some tape on them ends to where I'll get solid glue joints. And then I won't have no leading edge seam to separate, you know what I mean? Anytime you can back your seam up off that leading edge, that's just a, a plus. You know what I mean? Errors won't get in there and uh, make them dudes come apart. I go in there and make me a nice flange. I'll put my flange on this piece. Then I'll come over here, put my flange on that piece, put my structure in there, put my halves together. Bam! I'll have an elevator. I'm going to start laying them up probably tomorrow, people. I want to uh, put my halves together tonight. I'm going to bolt them back together around that plug because that one seemed a little soft, but that was on the front. It shouldn't matter. But I'm going to bolt them back together tonight and uh, start waxing her up tomorrow. Get me a couple elevators built. And what else do I got to show you? I think that's it, people. I just wanted to uh, uh, make another video and show them, show them to y'all cleaned up. But that was the reason for making that leading edge separate. See, now I can put my halves together. Put my two halves together. Two halves together. There we go. Keep it in place. Then you see, I can actually get inside there to uh, put it together. I can get inside there and uh, get inside here. And I'll come out with a lot nicer stab. You know what I mean? It'll be tough. There won't be no guessing involved on how everything's glued inside. You know, that was the only thing that worried me. Is uh, you know, Jason told me a pretty neat trick on how he does them gliders. You know, my buddy Jason in Australia, he built a lot of them gliders with them big old wings. And he told me how they uh, put them together and you know that might have worked from this but I already had this done you know and uh, he uses that f that round foam you know like you get at the hardware store to, to shove into cracks before you cock it 
Then he uses a fiberglass sock that you can get at the stores. And then you put it in there on the leading edge and you smash it all down. You know that might work, but uh, uh, I already had it done this way and this way it worked fine. I think it will. So does Butch. Butch is the king. You know, there's no guesswork in this. Wondered, well, did my sock slide back? Boy, I hope all that's glued good inside. So you won't have to worry about that. We know this is going to be solid. Solid, solid. Take the guesswork out of it. You know? But that's where I am. What else do I got I can show you? People? You got me. I'm stumped. I did get my garage cleaned out today though. I want to show you guys something. Bam! Look at that corner over there. <laughs> I got that all cleaned up today. And uh... What else did I do today besides taking that red? And I just got some chores done around the house. And had my interview tonight with Dave. That went pretty good. And uh, that's it, people. I'm going to sit down for a minute. I'm going to my cup of coffee. But the mold came out good. I think I'm going to glue me a board across the back like we did my wings. But uh, I do I have one. I'm going to go to the hardware store in the morning. Give me a couple boards. I don't know, people. That's all I got. Well, we get on that elevator in the, in the morning. And get that built. And let's see. What else do we got? Oh. I'm going to... I want to hurry up and get these elevators built because I'm going to start painting this. Oh yeah, I want to get this bad boy painted up before we take it to Dias. And uh, I'm going to get start working on that bomber again. Once I get these elevators done, people, I'm going to get them fit. And they're going to be on there. going to get them servos in there, get them working. And uh, plugging away on this uh, fuselage. I'm going to get it. It's about ready to paint. Shoot, all i got to do really is scuff the fuselage. You know, people was worried about the overspray and stuff. I'm getting on it, but... <laughs> I'm going to sweat saying that thing, people. Anything I've been spraying in here is all water-based. Uh, you know. Had some people asking about my primer and my plugs, okay? All these plugs are made out of foam. Okay, they're blue foam. And we use blue foam because it's denser than that white star foam. That stuff's too soft, okay? If you have a wing, you want to mold... And you want to make a plug. If you use that white star foam, you got to sheet it with balsa. Otherwise, it's too soft. You'd have to put like four layers of glass on it. But in that white, that how I get them yellow, that's all just yellow primer. I like to use yellow primer on my plugs because when I'm guide coating, you know, guide coat is when you, you, you prime it and then you like mist it with a black primer and then, uh, you know when you're that way when you sand it you can see a lot better but that's why I use yellow primer on my plugs it's the same brand as the gray at Transstar but they just sell it in a gray primer gray and yellow and uh, but I use the yellow for my plugs because I like it I can see my flaws better and I use gray for my parts because it's gonna be gray anyway so but that's that. But uh, anytime you want to make a plug and you use that blue foam, all you got to do is glass it. It's a couple layers of tooling cloth. And uh, uh, prime it. Get ready to paint. And it's good to go. But this episode's about over, people. So I'm going to load these movies and uh, get ready for tomorrow. I got my bench all cleaned off too, but I'm going to do a little more cleaning. In here, get some junk out of here and get ready to start laying these parts up.